Providers worry there won't be enough supplies to test nursing home workers twice a week, and Washington State facilities are accused of banning window visits. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. To stay in the know of long-term care news, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. New York providers are calling on state officials to provide full assistance following a new mandate to test workers twice a week, something they say is nearly, quote, impossible to comply without help. Governor Andrew Cuomo, the Democrat from New York, announced the mandate last week, and it went into effect on Wednesday. If workers don't agree to be tested twice a week, they would not be allowed to work, according to the order. The order would require more than 410,000 COVID-19 tests every week, and that amount of testing means officials would need to increase the on-site availability of testing for providers, explained Stephen Hands, the president and CEO of the New York State Health Facilities Association and New York State Center for Assisted Living. He urges that the state must ensure that enough tests will be available in a timely manner and that it will fully cover the cost of these tests and the providers are seeing costs of $150 per test, which would be a $60 million a week cost. The AP reported that in a letter to the governor, several nursing home groups said, quote, there are a myriad of practical problems that will make it impossible to comply. Neil Heyman, president of the Southern New York Association, said, quote, It's the right thing to do. It's a good idea. We need to support it. But the logistics of it and the cost of it need to go through consideration. The American Healthcare Association in late April urged providers to prepare for a dramatic increase in widespread coronavirus testing. California recently announced it would allow asymptomatic testing in nursing homes, while West Virginia recently started an effort to conduct universal testing in facilities. Cuomo, in an interview, said the testing mandate may be, quote, a pain in the neck, but it is necessary. Washington State providers are defending themselves against complaints that their facilities have stopped window visits during the coronavirus pandemic. The University Place Rehabilitation Centers in University Place, Washington, which had a complaint filed against it, explained that it's allowing window visits, but at a specific window. Administrator Jonathan Ashley said that their team is committing every effort to protect the people they serve and added that the facility is also using electronic devices to connect residents with their loved ones. Window visits have become a very popular way to connect residents with their family members following a ban on visitors at facilities in response to the ongoing pandemic and its deadly effect on seniors and people with underlying conditions. The state's long-term care ombudsman office said it's received about three or four complaints about the alleged ban. They added it could be, quote, just the tip of the iceberg. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.